Do it. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Project Phoenix Media. We have a really great PS2 game related tutorial today. I want to show you how to copy your PS2 game ISO files in a different process to a FAT32 USB thumb drive or external hard drive. And if the game is larger than 4 gigabytes, how to bypass that. Because FAT32, when you try to copy over large game files, greater than 4 gigabytes is going to give you an error code. So real quickly here, if I go to my PS2 thumb drive, and then if I go to like an image file here, I have this killzone.iso. So let me go ahead, try to copy it over. And Windows says the kill the file killzone.iso is too large for the destination file system. So how do you bypass this? How do you get around it? It's pretty simple. So let's do this. In the video description, there'll be a link to where you can download a USB util version 2.0. Full is the English version. So go ahead, download it, extract it to your desktop. Um, once, you, once you see the screen, press close. And then go to file create game from ISO. On the left hand side there's a folder tree uh, directory so go ahead and navigate. I put all my game stuff on the desktop. So left hand side you want to find your game ISOs. So I'm going to go to my folder here. Here's my killzone.iso. On the right hand side this is like where do you want to save your ISO files or your converted files actually. So I'm going to go ahead and select my iDrive which is my USB thumb drive formatted as FAT32. And then I know it's a DVD, so I'm going to say DVD over here. Everything else stays the same. If you want to give a new name for the game, go ahead. And we see that this total space is 4.30 gigabytes. So now I click on Create. And then this portion will take a while, depending on how large your game is. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically skip to the end once this is done. But in a nutshell, any game you come across that is an ISO file and is too large for your file system, FAT32, use this program to basically convert it and what it does is it will basically split the game into one gigabyte chunks and it will also edit the ul.cfg file accordingly which is great and then what's also nice is you can also use this usb util version 2.0 program to edit the ul.cfg file so you can rename your games and delete games and also add games it's pretty simple and from that regards it rocks when compared to other programs like usb extreme so that's pretty much it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. And once it's done uh, ripping it or converting it, I'll show you what the final end result looks like on my USB thumb drive. It's going to be a lot of good times. Let's do this. All right, so we're back. The game finished ripping or converting itself. So this is what it looks like. I click on close. And then you'll notice that it recognizes I have two games installed on my USB thumb drive. I have this Wipeout XL game, and then I also have the Killzone game. So let's go ahead and go to my USB thumb drive and see what that looks like. So if I go there, basically you have the ul.cfg file, and then you have all these different split files, basically. So then, if I were to unplug this, go to my PS2, um, plug it in, and then turn it on, and then run OPL 0.9.3, it will see the games and then I can run them. If in an event I run the game and it gets stuck on a certain color, then at that point in time I should probably consider uh, fra um, defrag <laughs> the flash drive or and, and, and in certain cases, better yet, take the games, put them on a USB external hard drive, defrag it, and then go ahead and try to play it. So that is today's video game tutorial. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.